Konnyaso everybody! Hey, it's Sarah. So today I'm coming at you with a fun bun and low energy um, to do a first on my channel. As the title says, I am trying Stitch Fix. Um, TLDR is that a friend of mine tried it for the first time last month, loved it. She kept singing its praises, was like, Sarah, you need to try it. It's great. I, I love it. And so I figured, what the heck? I've always wanted to try one of these subscription boxes, but I've just never like followed through with it and so I was like you know what now is the time um so basically if you don't know what Stitch Fix is um I don't know how girl I'm like five years late but if you're like me and you're late um Stitch Fix is basically a um subscription service so it's like a subscription box so basically you pick however often you want to do it one time every month whatever um you basically Fill out this quiz, tells you know, you tell like your measurements, where you hold your weight, what your style is, all that type of stuff. Um, and then they have a stylist curate some pieces for you. I think it's like four to five, and then they mail them to you. You try them on. If you like it, you keep them. If you don't, you send them all back. Um, and that's basically it. Um, you do have to pay a $20 styling fee, which is what I had to pay when I signed up for the box. Um, but that styling fee does go towards whatever you do keep, if you keep anything. So, you know, keep that in mind, I guess. Um, you will be charged $20. Some way. Um, what else about it? I did like that the quiz was pretty thorough. Um, it lets you put in a ton of information about yourself, measurements, like I said, where you keep your weight, how clothes usually fit on you, where you like your clothes to usually hit you. Um, they've got free text where you can kind of put in, um, kind of extra little things. For me, I kind of put in information like, oh, like I, I my arms are significantly bigger than, um, like proportion wise to do my body and like things like that you can put in and then hopefully that will help whoever ends up styling you um, to pick some stuff. Um, so I got my box in yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, and here she is. And I'm very excited to give it a try, um, you know, provide you all the coronavirus content that you didn't even know you wanted. And yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So grab a snack, get comfortable and let's dive into right, this box. So here is the cross section of what they have sent me. Um, quick uh, first impressions of just this cross section. I'm, I'm intrigued by this. This knit looks like something I'd enjoy, but also something I have, like something I have. Um, these little tops here are giving me a touch granny, but again, let's not judge. Let's, let's, let's not do that. Let's not start off on a bad foot. Um, and there also looks like there's some jeans in here, which is interesting. I just bought a bunch of jeans, um, from American Eagle, which I probably have already posted on video. I may not have, that may be the one that's coming after this, whatever, but I just bought a bunch of jeans, so I don't know if I need any more, but you know, let's just see. Um, it does come with this cute little note, which I'm assuming is either a note from the stylist or it's, okay, so I think this is how much things cost. So I'll wait to look at that. Um, this is just telling you, this is the start of our relationship, blah, 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 whatever, maybe. Um, and then, oh, a note, which is what I had hoped would be in here. So it says, oh, hello. Um, hi there, Sarah, welcome to Stitch Fix. We are so excited to have, you have chosen to give us a try. My name is Sarah and I have the honor of styling you for your first fix. The styling process was very collaborative and your feedback is always welcome. No detail is too small when it comes to the fit, an overall sense of your clothes, blah, blah, blah. Have fun, try everything on, blah, 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 blah. Um, pretty generic, like, you know, stuffs. Um, let's kick things off with the edgy high-waisted skinnies from Cut From The Cloth. Um, if this is your first experience with this brand, um, you are in for a treat. They fit like a dream, she says, a dream. Um, Pair them with the graphic tee um, and then layer this boho Kaylee kimono over top for an instant style update. Ooh, yes. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just see. Let's give it a try. They got some like cute ensemble 
things here. So I don't know if that's what they gave me. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to try it. Um, so let's just dive right into it. Also, I'm in my bathroom. If you're wondering where I was in my home. Um, because it was just easier to film in there because my dog was being so loud. All right. So the first item is this. Ah, it's this graphic tee um, that says, dream on, dreamer. <laughs> um, actually, I really actually quite like this. I like how soft it is, first and foremost. That's lovely. Um, I also really like that it has a rounded hem. That was one of the things that I put in my feedback, actually, or not feedback, but like the little like notes section. Um, was that I preferred rounded hems that I felt like they looked better on my bow day and All right, okay. I'm not mad at this like this is something I actually would wear with a cardigan like layered over it grungy cute so Okay, all right. We're not off to a bad start. Okay Um, This thing what's this thing? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, this is a crop tank top with a neck situation. I can't determine. Oh, is it like, oh, okay. It's the back. Um, so it's this tank top. I know how to do things. It's this tank top here with this like little crisscrossy in the back. Um, I actually don't hate this either. Hmm. See, shouldn't judge. I was like, this is grandma. Who would want this? Um, I actually quite like this. Um, I think it's really, it's really soft. Um, this is in a 2X, I believe. The last t-shirt was a 2X. Um, let's see. Yep, this is in a 2X. This is cute. I like this. I don't know what I would wear this with, though, because I usually prefer longer line tops, but we'll give it a try. We'll try it on. Okay, so far, not too bad. What is this? Ah, uh, it's one of these. So, I have an extreme aversion to kimonos that look kimonos that look like this um so this back it up so this is a like floral print chiffoni kimono thing um i believe it also in a 2x um i will i will save my my gentle rant about kimonos until I try it on, because I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to be that girl, you know. Um, but first impression, don't like this. But, okay, great. Um, next. Now, this is the thing that I was like is very me. So, it's this, like, chunky knit sweater here. Um, into this. It's probably also a 2X, probably. Yes. Um, arms look like they've got good stretch, which is good. Um, it's cute. I like this. I do like this. This is very cute, but I have a sweater that's very similar to this. It's not short like this one, but it is, and it's like white instead of cream, but this is very much my style. So on board with this too. Um, and I think the last thing is these jeans that they sent me. And then the last thing are these jeans. Um, they look pretty cute. They are much lighter wash than I usually go for. Um, they are very cute. Oh, they've got a little rip at the knee, which thrills me. I do love distressed and I do like cropped. Um, they gave me these in a 20. Um, cause I did tell them that like, I prefer to size up with jeans as opposed to size down. Um, so I went with, I went with that. These look actually really cute. I'm okay. I'm actually pleasantly surprised question mark. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's, let's try these on and then we'll come back for our final All right. Thoughts. So here's the first top and I actually really like this. Um, it is the, uh, 2X, like, band tee, graphic tee, whatever it's supposed to be. 
Um, yeah, I really like this. I think it hits at a really good length on me. Um, it's really long in the back. Um, the rounded hem, as we said, she just, she hits the rounded hem does. Um, yeah, like it's got like a nice little flow to it. Super soft, super comfy. Wow, I actually really, really like this. Um, yeah, like it could be worn with leggings, probably could be worn with jeans. I, okay, okay Stitch Fix. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I just threw the sweater on that they sent over the graphic tee. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't dislike it, but I'm not like, in love with it you know what i mean um the the sleeves on me are just a just a hair short um and um i don't know i tend to prefer like a long line sweater it's me it's a me thing um this one's not bad though like it hits me back up it's, it hits me like right just below my hips which is fine um and it does like cover my butt but i don't know i'm just i'm not a huge fan the Material is also not super soft either. Um, it's kind of, I don't want to say itchy, but like a little rough. Um, and I usually prefer my sweaters to be really soft and cozy. And this is a little bit rough, but I don't, I don't hate it. I just like, I'm not in love with it. Again, I'm going to look at all the prices at the end and just kind of look at things for what they are without the price. Um, so yeah but at the moment this one is a soft maybe maybe okay so the next item are these jeans um and let me just lift my shirt so you can see them so these are these jeans they're supposed to be high rise um i would say that these are like a higher mid rise on me um i think compared to my american eagle jeans uh, which again, you will see in the video whenever I, whenever I finally edit it. Um, but compared to my American Eagle jeans, these are not high. Um, so my belly button is right here. So they come maybe like an inch above my belly button. Um, so they're, to some people, I'm sure they're probably a high rise, but to me, they're just kind of like a higher mid rise, which makes me feel like I don't know how often I would actually wear these because I prefer a high high rise like a pretty high rise um you know just holds me in i feel supported and loved you know um but like they're not bad jeans like they fit um on the boot on the bouquet you know what i'm saying um you can't really see i'll try and back up as far as i can but like they come like ankle length on me so they're actually my preferred length i don't usually like my jeans to go all the way down i don't know why what that is about myself but i really like cropped jeans um but yeah so i don't know again i think it kind of depends on how much they are because they're not like blowing me away uh but they're not they're not bad um they do have a little rippy rip in the knee which is cute they're not like overly distressed um and i don't actually mind this debt this wash i don't usually go for such a light wash i'm more like a medium wash kind of girl um but overall i mean they're good jeans they fit really well they are pretty solid denim like they don't feel they've got some stretch obviously to them but they're not like jegging stretchy um which you know some people may like some people may not like it just depends i don't care either way like i have some jeans that are super stretchy and some that are just like pretty sturdy denim um but this is kind of like an in-between denim. Um, yeah, I think they're pretty comfortable. Waistband fits nice or comfortably. Um, yeah, like they're, they're not bad jeans. They're just not like great jeans. Okay, so plot twist on this one. It's not cropped. I don't know why when I was holding it up, this shirt looked like a cropped tank top. And I was like, mm, I don't know about a cropped tank top for me. Um, but I actually really like this. Again, it's great they listened this has like a kind of rounded hem which again i think looks more flattering on my body type personally than just like the straight across ones um it's got a rounded hem she's really quite long in the back actually i wouldn't say legging long but like definitely like 
good length. Um, it's got this like crisscrossy detail in the back there. Don't mind my arm chunks. Um, but it's got this like little crisscrossy detail in the back. Um, and yeah, it's really cute. I think it like accentuates my bow day. Like it's cut pretty well. Um, the V-neck is like deep, but like, like flattering. Like it's not super deep that I'm like, hello, but it's also like nice. Um, very soft material. I'm again, surprisingly into this. Um, Oh, okay, and okay. then this is the last piece. It's the kimo the kimono. Um, I'm very conflicted right now, and here's why. I like this significantly more than I expected to. Um, as I kind of mentioned earlier, I have very strong feelings generally about kimonos, um, especially this style one. Like, I'm saying kimono very loosely. Um, because I feel like it's that thing that they always kind of push on big girls. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, you know, like they try and make you feel some type of way about your arms or I don't know. I don't know. It's just like a thing for me. And so I always feel like they always kind of shove this, like you put a kimono over it, put a kimono. And it's just like, girl, maybe I don't want to put a kimono, you know, I don't know. It's a bias of mine. I probably should work through that. I should probably take time to look through that, but this one is actually cute. Um, I think that these can often pull very matronly um, sometimes and in the way that they're styled, but I actually kind of like this one. Um, like I think like this with like high-waisted jeans um, or higher-waisted, like I have a pair of light wash um, mom jeans that I just got, um, like that with just this, like a white tank top, and like my filas that I have and just like ripped jeans and like, I don't know, like I'm surprisingly into this. I don't, I'm, listen, you and me both are confused. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, do I hate this? Do I like this? I don't know. Um, it's really long in the back. Not that I would, that would really matter with this, I don't think, because I'd probably only wear this with denim or something to like kind of edge it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a type of way in this right now and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I, please give me your thoughts. But yeah, this is this light and breezy, pretty standard cut. I feel like of like this type of style shrug sweater kimono thing that they sell. Um, it's got like cute little slits on the side, like, hmm. I'm also surprised too because all three of the items were like navy blue and I usually avoid navy like the plague. I don't know why. I don't think I look great in navy, but I liked all of these. But yeah, this is this, this, this fl these flowers, y'all, had me stressed, but I'm not mad at this. All right, y'all, we're back at it again. I threw this t-shirt back on because it's comfy um, and I have the, I have the, the bill, if you will. So Let's just see what these prices are looking like, shall we? Um, okay. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for letting us fix, style fix number one for you. Um, so the cut from cloth jeans, which are the jeans that I still have on, um, they are $88. No, ma'am, absolutely not. <laughs> um, for me personally, I don't love these jeans enough to pay that, What in my mind, I, because what is money? Um, in my mind, it's kind of like a more premium cost for me for jeans. Um, typically, I have, I usually go for like, which is wrong probably, because the fast fashion, anyway. Um, I usually go for like jeans that are kind of like in the $20, $30 range. Recently, I've kind of gotten really into um, American Eagle which can sometimes, depending on if you don't catch a sale or not, can be around the like 40 to $50 range. So yeah, but like $88 for me personally is a lot for jeans that I also don't love. Um, so those are gonna be a no from me, dog. Um, the Emery Park Open Kimono is $34, okay. So, uh, 
I don't know. Like part of me liked it and part of me is intrigued by it because I don't have um, things like this in my closet because I, as I've, as I've mentioned, I avoid kimonos generally. Um, but this is, I don't know. I'll think about this one. That one I'll think about. Um, the skies are blue textured cardigan is $58. So that one I think is also going to be a no from me, mostly because I have a sweater that in fact, you know what, let me go grab it. So this is a sweater that I have here that is mine. This one is mine. Fair Target says hello. Um, and this sweater I got for like 30 bucks at Target and she's cozy and soft and wonderful. And then this is the one that they sent me here. So as you can see, again, she was she was correct in my branding, um, but I just, you know, like similar. This one is just shorter than this one that I already own, but no, we don't need a $58 sweater that we already own, friend. No. Um, so that one, def gonna be a no for me. This graphic t-shirt is $34. Um, hmm. This, mm, for me, again, maybe I'm just that cheap, but for me, $34 for a t-shirt. Um, don't get me started on my rant about Torrid, but this is, that's giving me that, that Torrid feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like I have strong feelings about Torrid charging $30 for t-shirts that Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, probably going, I'm going to keep this. It's not even a probably, I'm going to keep this. I really like the way that it's cut. I like the little bit here. Um, I do really like the dream on dreamer on the front. Like I'm buying into it and they'll keep charging me $30 for these graphic t-shirts that should be 15, but we won't let that, we won't, we won't get into that. Um, and then the last thing, which is the Basima back detail knit top, which is this one is also $30. Why is everything $30? Um, again, it's giving me that torrid feeling. Like, do I pay $30 for what is a tank top? I don't, I don't know. Like I really did like this on me. Um, I liked the color. I love floral. Um, but I just, mm, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I just feel some type of way about $30 for a tank top, you know? Am I, is that a me thing? Please, in the comments below, tell me if you're like me because I just, I don't know. We'll contemplate. I will probably never tell you what I ended up getting, uh, but just know for your reference that I'm contemplating this t-shirt, the kimono, and this top. Maybe I'll tell you, I don't know, whatever. Um, but that's everything, we'll figure it out. Um, but as usual, constantly that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.